Hello, hello, hello. What's going on, everybody? Hope everyone's doing well out there. Today, I'm going to be working a little bit on the Zebra Stripe guitar. I know you guys are probably getting really sick of it. Today is a little bit of a tedious work day. I got to do some binding scraping, which is always fun. And I don't have any special tools for doing that. It's just simply a razor blade that has been measured off at the tip and then has a piece of masking tape wrapped around it to kind of give me an idea of how far the blade has to go in in order to scrape the blade or scrape the binding without scraping the wood. So I guess let's get started. So before I do any sanding sealer on this thing, I need to clean off the binding, which is pretty simple. You know, I just use a simple razor blade and I have the ends kind of tapered off a little bit to where only the tips show. This is a little bit shorter. This one's a little bit longer. I'll be using the longer side because this is a five ply binding and it's going to need the depth in order to scrape it. I've already started over here and I just want to remove the die off of the binding. So pretty simple, pretty easy. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood, beautiful day to be a neighbor. I don't know the rest of the song. All right, so I got two coats of the sanding sealer on here, and I'm about to put a third. My problem is, is I'm left-handed, so I have to swap hands on my phone. Sure there's nothing on here, no bugs. And this is nice and smooth. No color. I don't care if I get over spray on this table, we're throwing it out anyways. So I'll let that dry and then I'll put one more coat going the opposite direction. It's looking pretty good. All right, so I know I said something a long time ago about having another project to work on after I get done with the Zebra Stripe. Zebra Stripe is starting to come along pretty damn good right now. Uh, so I'm going to show you guys what the next project is. Now I can't remember 
if this is a Squire or if this is a Harley Benton uh, or what this came off of, I don't remember. Maybe George can help me out here. The owner of the this good body, his name is George. I'll put a link in the description down below of his channel. You guys can check him out. Uh, pretty talented guitar player. But his complaint about this is that the body is heavy. Now, I got to say, it's heavy. And I don't remember what the... see if I can see what the shipping weight was on this 10 pounds so the shipping weight on this is 10 pounds well, maybe I don't know it's got some weight to it so he wants me to lighten this thing up and how he wants me to do do this is basically drill some holes through the body and I asked him you know are you sure you want to do this and he said yes so I'll be more than happy to drill some holes through the body of his guitar um, he also has a request to incorporate pieces of one of his motorcycles into the body where I cut out the holes. Now, we thought about this and we talked about it, cutting a hole all the way through the body to the other side. But I was thinking about it as I was looking at this. And, you know, if you have a shirt with buttons on it or if you have any type of uh, a belt buckle or something, you know, anything piece of your clothing it could possibly get hooked on the opening on the back of the guitar and can cause problems with uh maybe how you're playing and how you're sitting playing and stuff like that uh and possibly damage or chip the finish on the other side of the body depending on how it get, whatever gets hooked on the opening and gets pulled so i was thinking about this and what he has are three rings that are off of the fairing around the gauges of his motorcycle. So we have one, we have two, and we have three. In kind of this order, the way you see it is the way it's going to be drilled. So we have a larger one, two smaller ones. And what I'm going to end up doing here is I'm going to mark out the size of the hole which will be the outer side of this ring. I was hoping it would be the inner side of the ring. I was hoping that there would be a lip on this side sticking out. But and what I'm going to do is flush mount these things so they're embedded into the body of the guitar. Now, I'm not going to be able to save what I cut out. At least I don't think so. I don't think I can route this out and find a way to save these top pieces. That would be pretty cool if I could. I don't think I can but I am going to try it and see what happens. At least sh save a sliver of it. And what I was thinking of is that after I route out the body and I was going to make a um, an inside chamber, okay? Make it look like that, uh, okay, it's been routed out, but I get a piece of very thin wood, the same size as the hole, put some toothpicks behind it, that way, when I set it inside there, it's not going to sink all the way to the bottom. I can have it up higher. I can have it down lower. I can have it any way I could possibly do this. And what I was thinking of is uh, sealing that shelf. I'm going to call it a shelf. Sealing it around the edges and filling it with epoxy. And in doing so, we'll still have the shiny spots here, but... I can also make it to where uh, he can have a picture of his motorcycle inside of here since he is incorporating his bike into. So I already talked to him about that. He's not quite sure yet how he wants to do that or if he wants to do that yet. Um, or what I could do is mix some black epoxy resin and fill it up uh, you know, raise that shelf up so where there's only about that much of a lip or so. And I could fill it up with the epoxy. That way it still has kind of the black pick guard, the black in the holes, uh, with the beauty rings around it. Still being hollow underneath that shelf. Lighting up, making the body a little bit lighter. So that is kind of a 
option that I was thinking about doing with this. I mean, I could put any type of design in these holes if I want to. I could make it look like uh, uh, lightning. I could take some of the glow-in-the-dark pigment that I have. Uh, I've got some blue, I believe, and I can make it look like there's lightning, you know, inside there and, uh, you know, glow, even, on a, even with a black light. So... I'm sure George is going to see this video and we're going to probably discuss a little bit more about it later on of how exactly he wants me to finish off these holes. So I'm going to chamber them and that'll make this still lighter. These things here, they weigh nothing. They weigh nothing. They have no weight to them at all. So yeah, that's the idea of the next project and uh, uh, it's going to be fun working on it. And then I'm going to shield the inside cavity for him as well, you know, just just to do that, just to be nice. I mean, it, he, we were talking about it in my last video. He put a comment on there that it needs to be done. And I said, well, I'll take care of it for you, man. Don't worry about it. So I'm going to get it done for him. All right, so let's go check out some other stuff. All right, so the temperature outside went from halfway decent to not so decent anymore. So I had to move this thing inside. I got my last coat on here before I brought it in, so it had some time to kind of cure outside a little bit before I uh, came in. Remember, you don't spray any type of paints or aerosol paints and stuff inside inside your home. Shit gets all over everything. So it's dry to touch. I mean, I'm touching it now, and uh looks pretty good. Um, I think it looks better now than it did the first time. But... Uh, Letting this cure for a couple days before I decide to start doing any type of a sanding on it and clearing. So I have an idea that uh, I got a hold of Jeff over at uh, Diamond Cut Graphics USA, and he's going to make me one of these hummingbirds. Now this is kind of small, and which I'm going to use it for something else, but not for this. But I like that design. So I asked him if he could make me a fluorescent orange one, a black one, and a silver one, about four inches by three inches. So it'll be, I don't know how many different sizes, and I'm going to incorporate that right here, and possibly maybe one over here. So I'm not quite sure yet. Now, if I go with the silver, this thing's got black hardware on it, but the frets are kind of silverish, right? Right. So what I was thinking about doing is, all right, the pickups are black, but they have silver pull pieces on them. The pickup rings are going to be black, but they'll have silver screws on it. The bridge is black, black inserts for the holes, but the post will be chrome. The tailpiece is black. The insert's going to be black but the post for that is going to be chrome as well. And the knobs are going to be black, but I'm going to polish off uh, kind of like a small portion of the top of it. Uh, and that's going to be like a silver chrome like deal too. So you see how it, it, everything ties in with each other, including the design that'll be right here. So that's what the plan is. That's what I'm thinking of doing. And uh, so I got a hold of Jeff and... Uh, well, we've been talking so that's it for now on this thing for a while i have to get some mdf start making some templates and put some holes in a telecaster body yeah all right guys take it easy